Hello friends, welcome to your own YouTube channel Achievers Data Engineering. My name is Gyanendra and in this video we are going to talk about a frequently asked interview question in Power BI. What is index column in Power BI? Right, so this is one of the frequently asked interview question when it comes to the interview of freshers who is applying for any job related to Power BI. So what it is, let's see that. So now I am on a fresh Power BI report and uh, let me directly uh, jump to the transform uh, data pane. And if I go there that you can see that I'm already connected to a data source. So if I go into the transform and sorry, if I go into the add column uh, ribbon, then you will see there is an option to add index column. So if I click on this index column, it will give me two options, like three options. One is from zero or from two or from custom. So if I go ahead and directly click on add index column, then what it will do, it will add one more column over here with name of index. And by default, it will start from zero and it will go till the how many number of rows are there in the data, right? If we want to start this column from one instead of zero, then we can choose from one. Or if we want to, you know, create an index column with some, you know, uh, custom numbers then we can go ahead and click on custom over here we can define the starting number for example if I want to start it from one and then the increment so for example I if I want to generate it uh, increment by two for example then I can define two so for now let's just make it as increment as one and if I'll click OK then it will add another index column starting from one and it will go till the end of number of rows all right, so now what's the use of this index column? So usually the index column is used when you want to filter rows based on the number of rows, right? So for example, if you are showing any visualization or using any DAX where you want just to filter out the number number of row, for example, you want to go on row number five, row number three, in that situation, or if you want to filter out some range of rows, so maybe you want to filter out rows from five to 10 or any kind of example, then in these are the situations where we use index column. Also, if you don't have, uh, for example, if you're working on a data where is no additional column, which is uh, not easily that you can sort or do any kind of, uh, uh, you know, create an ID, then in that situation as well, you can use index column to give it a unique number to each row. All right, so I hope it has given you an understanding that what is index column, where to use it. So thank you so much. Uh, if you like the content, please go ahead and hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Keep learning. Have a great day.